Hi everyone, welcome to another video. I've recently put together my desk setup with a relatively low budget and I think it turns out pretty well. In today's video, I'm going to share with you what I've purchased and the alternative products that I use to make my setup look decent without breaking the bank. My apartment has a little study area at the corner here and it comes with a built-in desk, so I didn't have to spend on one. It is long enough that I'm able to put two computer setups, one for my day-to-day -day job and the other one is for doing my side business, which is the one I'm featuring in this video. Why do I need two setup, you might ask? Well, I prefer them to be separate as my full-time job can turn the desk very messy. Anyway. Although it's nice that the desk has a wooden finish that matches the other built-ins in this unit, the depth or the distance between the wall and the other side of the desk is very short. This makes it hard to have bigger monitors because I need to be further to see the display clearly. I've always wanted a good proper desk shelf and the one that struck me the most is from GrowthMate. But there are two problems. One is that it is very expensive and two, it is from the US and cost extra money and time to deliver to Australia. So I went looking for one that is closer and less expensive, which led me to find a desk shelf from Ecosium. The desk shelf is woody and minimal, which is the look that I wanted to go for for my setup. What separates this from the rest is, not only is it made locally in Australia and costs way more reasonable, it's also made from quality, responsibly sourced material. They sell three different sizes and allows you to choose which height you prefer. You do not need a screwdriver setting this up and it's easy to assemble. Honestly, it feels very solid considering it has no screws that's holding them together. I wanted a 4K monitor for this setup and most of them were above 500 Australian dollars. When I went searching for a monitor, I was interested in this 27 inch monitor from Dell. Not only it has a 4K display, it also comes with an adjustable monitor stand and built-in speaker. Of course, this won't be cheap. I went on Facebook Marketplace to find any that were on sale for a cheaper price and luckily I found one that is still relatively new for about 300 Australian dollars. Although it is expected that the speakers won't have the best quality, it is good enough to use when watching videos or movies. Besides, I will use my headphones when I'm editing and will save for good quality external speakers like the audio engine A2 Plus for now. The main computer that will power this setup is my 13-inch 2020 MacBook Pro that I put on the side on this laptop stand. Nothing exciting about my laptop. I hope I can upgrade to the new 14 inch M1 Pro soon because it starts to show its age when I'm editing videos. I purchased the laptop stand a while ago and I love the color and build quality as it's similar to my computer. The desk mat that I'm using is from Minimal Desk Setup. I decide on color and quality when searching for a desk mat. I wanted it to match with the theme of my setup and wanted it to last long. Their desk mat is known for its quality within a reasonable price range, which is why I bought it. The keyboard and mouse that I'm using is the Logitech MX Keys and the Logitech MX Master 2S. I have used them for a couple of years now and they do not disappoint. I like the typing feel on the keyboard and the clicking on the mouse. I have to say though, these days, after using the mouse for 3 years, I often have trouble switching connections between two computers and always end up having to reconnect it to my Mac manually. After taking care of what's on the desk, I look for ideas on Etsy to decorate the wall as it looks pretty bare. The art pieces that I ended up choosing are Yayoi, Matisse, and Harry. I chose soft green as it is the accent color I wanted my setup to have. I then have them printed at my local print shop to the sizes of the frames. I also attach this night light to brighten up the corner. It is actually a children's light from IKEA. I thought it looks nice for my small setup rather than spending a lot on RGB light strips. I bought a pegboard to mount on the sidewall. 
I've never used a laser leveler before and it is so easy to mount my pegboard with it. Anyways, I think the different wood color of the pegboard gives a nice subtle contrast to my setup and I love how it turns out. Next, I just need to fill the pegboard with bits and pieces, hide the cables away where I can, and put my favorite books under the light. Last but not least, the chair that I'm using is from IKEA. I got it from the used section area for about $80 off of its RRP. It was still in a very good condition, I just had to clean it as it was very dirty. That wraps up this video i hope you guys find it useful please be sure to subscribe to support me and like this video if you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one